hello and welcome to yet another exciting tutorial on this channel in today's video we will learn how to show password characters in excel vba so let's say this is our password and then we'll click here to show the characters that we typed as our password and then click here to hide you click here to show and then you click to hide Let us learn how we can create this in Excel VBA. Open a blank new Excel workbook. If you are new to Excel and you do not have the developer among the tab row here, you can right click here and then go to customize ribbon and when you click on it, it will bring out the Excel options for you. You will then check the developer here and then click OK. Also, you can go to File, navigate down to Options, and then click on Customize Ribbon to bring you to the Excel Options dialog box. And then you can also check the developer here and then click on OK. After you have done that, click on the developer and then come to Visual Basics. You can use the keyboard shortcut of ALT F11 to open the Visual Basic. Now, when the Visual Basic for Application window opens, you will be presented with this interface. The first thing you have to do is to insert a user form by going to Insert and then click on User Form. Let me expand this a little bit and then add a label. Increase the font size. Let's take fourteen. Click OK. And then the next thing we have to do is to add a text box. So pick a text box and then draw it out here. Let's also increase the font size to 14. We are going to use the text box as a password, so we we'll take the password character to be. Let's take our password character to be this and click on it. Okay. So now we have this as our password character. Let's see. Whatever we type in here will show this way. So that is going to be our password character. Then let's introduce a new label. Another label. Let's take this. this label will be used to display the show characters and then also hide the characters in place of label you can use the command button or the image now with label 2 let me add a picture to it let's take open eye to label 2 then let's copy image 2 and then add the closed eye to it so now we are having two images two labels with different images then open eye and then closed eye now with the open eye let's make the visibility to be false so we click on it and come down here and then say visible instead of true let's change it to false and then we will place the image level 3 on it let's make sure they are well sized let's align them to the left and then also align them to the top so they are well aligned 
let us run it to see. with the text box one we can choose to leave it this way or we can choose to give it a name let's leave it as text box one now let's add some coding to the labels so before we do that let's put this out of the way and then click on this we will not be putting the coding on the click event however we will be looking at the mouse down so let's click on the mouse down event and write these lines of code label 3 dot no, yes, label 3 so label 2 dot visible equal to true and then label 3 dot visible Let's run it to see this. Uh, so as soon as you click on it, the label two heights and then the label three appears. Okay, let's go back and then click on the label three. Also, we are label two. Also, we are going to use this. And this is the mouse down effect. Let's click on the mouse up. For the bottom, and then add this little three dot Let's add some more coding to the form now. So let's click on label 3 and then add this code to it. Text box 1 dot password character password char equal to this one text box one dot password character equal to star okay so now let's run it to see so let's let us write some let us write the password for it and click on it to see. Okay, you see it's working. Close. So this is the password that we just wrote and close it. With this, we have been able to show the password characters and also hide it. We can also apply this to our user form login design so that it will look more professional and interactive.
educative thank you for watching yet another educative tutorial on this channel please do not forget to subscribe like and share also do not forget to leave a comment as i'll be glad to reply you thank you